What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is the one month review of the Mizuno Morelia DNA in this absolutely stunning white and silver colorway. I have been so excited to revisit these football boots because they are one of my favorite and I really wanted to make sure that these were in the GOAT conversation, if not the GOAT conversation. And I'm gonna tell you why in today's video. So we're gonna to start today with the sole plate. Now the sole plate is very, very straightforward. This is the same sole plate that you get on the Mizuno Morelia uh, Neo 3 and Neo 3 Beta. They've graduated to a different sole plate with the Neo 4. I'm hopeful that Mizuno takes notes on this one and just makes a new version of this with the Neo 4 sole plate because that one is like marginally a little bit better from a springback perspective. But this sole plate is excellent. It really is excellent. And the best part about the sole plate is because you have all conical studs except for this little tiny bladed stud, which is basically just an oval stud. It's like a big circle. This is gonna work on natural grass pitches and artificial grass, pi grass, pitch, grass pitches, grass pitches. I actually just trained on this field with these ones not too long, a couple days ago, and uh, was really excited by the way these performed on natural grass. I love the way they feel. Uh, the sole plate has a lot of snapback, great rigidity here through that spine area, and you really do get a fantastic underfoot feel. It is a little bit narrower, so it is on the narrower side, so if you are a wider footed player I would potentially if you can try on the Neos first and get access to those which is a much more accessible football boot and also it's a boot that um, you're going to be able to like return easier before you actually spend the money on a pair of these because these are now going for insane money what I would do is try those on just make sure the sole plate feels good underfoot in the size that you're looking for and th and then pull the trigger on these but overall I think subjectively and objectively, this is an 8.5 out of 10 for a soul plate. The heel area of the Morelia DNA is really interesting and kind of special. It's sort of a hybrid between uh, the Morelia Neo 3 and the Morelia 2 made in Japan. So as you guys know, Morelia, this is a combination boot between the Morelia Neo 3 sole plate and a little bit of this heel, and then the Morelia 2 made in Japan, which is their classic leather football boot, which is what this upper is. The heel area is interesting because it's not identical to the Morelia 2. I have a pair of those beautiful kind of uh, coral blue Morelia 2s, and the heel area is a little bit different. I find this one to actually wrap your foot a lot better, um, a lot meaning like tiny bit from made in Japan Mizuno standards, but this one is excellent like very very good you've got the suede liner it does a really nice job of kind of pinching your achilles tendon if you are somebody with a larger heel and ankle area i might not recommend this boot only because as you can see it's got great width in most areas of the foot and then it really comes down to a thin point here and even for somebody who has thin heel a thin heel like i do these almost pinch my achilles a little bit too much like it's fine after you get these broken in and it's all good and dandy and sunshine and rainbows uh, but this is a heel area that will kind of squeeze your foot especially when you pull the laces tight and your foot into the back of this heel area so overall though i would say this is definitely a fantastic heel this gets an eight out of ten for heel area this upper is one of the reasons that this boot is goat status because the morelia 2 is has long standing been one of the most premium leather football boots on the market uh, the upper is so so incredibly soft as you can see it's basically buttery and i've now had these for over a month and a half now i've worn them for quite a lot of time and they have it stayed super premium feel I've done zero leather treatment to it. Uh, apologies for the wind noise, by the way, if that's coming through. Um, but this upper is genuinely sensational. It is fully kangaroo leather. It does such a nice job of molding to your foot. And I think that's why this upper straight up just gets a nine out of 10. It is getting top, top, top marks for me. Lockdown of the Morelia DNA is really good, but not quite the best echelon or the upper echelon of football boots. The reason for that is because this is a fully kangaroo leather upper, the only way that they can really incorporate any sort of lockdown in here is not only one, the lacing system, but number two, the silver running bird logo is a synthetic that they've now, they've stitched to the bottom. They basically glued it 
to the and stitched it to the upper into the bottom of the sole plate so that when you tie the laces tight, um, as you can see, it's stitched into the lacing system. And so it does actually provide a decent amount of lockdown and in some ways kind of hurts the break-in time for somebody like me who has really wide feet in this area. That being said, it does do a pretty nice job of counteracting the fact that this upper is just so stupidly buttery soft. And so for me, this actually does a pretty good job of uh, getting lockdown sorted. So it's gonna get an eight out of 10. Break-in time for the Morelia DNA is a tough one for me because as I just mentioned in the lockdown area, uh, this Running Bird logo actually provides enough structure that it makes it really tough for me to break them in in particular, uh, especially because the way that this external heel counter kind of comes up and comes starts to come up right in the area where my my foot starts to get the widest right there and so for me this actually took quite a long time to break in these took even though these were gently used uh, they were basically brand new in box but they had been worn like once or twice which I don't care about because they're beautiful and they're in perfect condition still this is a football boot that did take me a little bit longer than I was expecting to break in I know in the previous one month review video of the DNA I mentioned, or maybe I didn't do a one month review, but I think in another video, I basically said that the boots aren't gonna get into my main rotation. I was talking about the Dark Galaxy colorway way back when I reviewed them in 21 or 2020 when they came out. And um, it must've been 2021. And um, it was one of those situations where it was a really big bummer because I didn't spend enough time in them to be able to break them in. And I was coming back from injury. So it was a whole thing. These are just on the verge of being too thin for me in the width area. This forefoot is beautiful. It fits amazing, super plush. As you guys know, Morelia 2 absolutely smashes it in the forefoot area. It's just with the way that this last works because it is a little bit thinner. It's just, it's like barely, barely fitting me. And I do sometimes still have hot spots, um, which means the break-in time is really gonna suffer, I think, for this football boot, which is kind of weird because if you fit in a normal Morelia Neo 3 or Neo 4 or Neo 4 Beta, blah, 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 any of their regular boots, you are gonna find these like the most comfortable football boots you've ever worn in your life, honestly. Like they're so, so, so comfortable while also providing the performance of the sole plate and a little bit better lockdown. Um, but I would say overall, mm, this is gonna suck, uh, but the break-in time gets a five out of 10. Durability and build quality is gonna get absolutely top marks. The reason for that is not only am I completely biased towards made in Japan Mizuno products, and just made in Japan products period. I think Adler falls in the same category, um, but made in Japan Mizuno products are a, a special echelon of football boots. They are the gold standard as far as build quality, durability, all that stuff. And so for me, these football boots have been worn quite a bit and they are barely showing their wear. I mean, I've got a little bit of area on the studs where I've walked on concrete in between training sessions to get to the field and they're barely showing wear. Um, the upper, despite it having grass and stuff from the session that I did the other day, barely has wear. There is zero separation anywhere on the sole plate on the left side or the right side. As I said before, I've worn these in training sessions. I think I have a photo, so that'll be up on screen if I, if I still do. Um, but I wore these in uh, Flower City training sessions and stuff as well. These never made the game rotation just because of that little bit of break-in time issue and I didn't want to be, I didn't want my feet to be hurting in a game. That was just one thing that I didn't really care for. Um, but for me, dur durability and build quality is easily easily a nine out of 10 for these. Shape and fit for the Morelia DNA is going to be excellent for most foot shapes. I would say the only caveat is if you have a, a larger than normal heel area or Achilles area, or if you have a wider area anywhere between here and here. I would say that's where the boot is a little bit on the tighter side, especially up to the point where this Running Bird logo gets glued and stitched into the upper anywhere behind there if you have a wider area back here wouldn't recommend it for shape and fit uh, but anybody who's got a relatively normal shaped foot to uh, normal shaped foot up to here and then a little bit of wider toe box i think is going to absolutely love these um, the the shape and fit true to size as a, these are a 9 us go true to size um, they're excellent they're really really good but just because of the sort of the lack of adjustability in this back part of the boot in sort of towards the heel area, I'm gonna give this for shape and fit a seven out of 10. All right, competition for the Morelia DNA is Morelia 2, Morelia Neo 4 and Neo 4 Beta, kind of falls in a similar category because the sole plate is so similar. I would say Copa Pure 2 Plus, and that's 
a huge compliment to the Copa Pure is in there. I would say the Adler Horenzo, the Adler Yadagarashu, um, those are two other boots that come to mind for this caliber. I would say that's kind of it. There are maybe there's a couple Italian brands that do boots that are kind of in this echelon of build quality and stuff, but they definitely don't hit the performance benchmark as well as the comfort of the leather benchmark. And that's where I kind of get mixed up with that sort of competition. But for me, the, the main the main reason this competes with something like a Copa, especially the new one, the 2 Plus or the 2.1 is because they have a performance based sole plate with the comfort of the leather and some of the lockdown and stuff. I still think this tops every single one of those other than the Yadagarashu, which in my opinion is my favorite out of all of those. Those are excellent. The fit on those football boots is just out of this world. It's really out of this world. But as far as like overall package of performance comfort and everything this is absolutely the top dog objectively speaking this is top dog no matter what anyone says these are incredible as far as competition goes this as i said blows pretty much everything out of the water like this compared to a copa pure 2 plus is a, is kind of a joke like it's not even a competition even though it's part of the competition if that makes sense so for me top dog for the Morelia DNA. Performance for the Morelia DNA is excellent. As I said before, it is the sole plate that really does a lot of the performance enhancing of this football boot over something like a Morelia 2. That is one thing that you don't quite get with that football boot that you do get with this football boot is that responsiveness, that, that explosive feeling that you get in the ground with this sole plate and the way that this locks your heel in in particular. And so for me, the performance is going to get really, really good ratings. It, it definitely is above a lot other a lot of other football boots on the market because you, you this, this boot almost has zero compromises. The only time this boot gets potentially compromised is in like heavy rain but like most boots do anyway um, and so for me this is going to get an 8.5 out of 10 for performance if you guys already don't know i'm a massive fan of the mizuno morelia dna made in japan now especially in this colorway i think this is easily in the goat conversation they only made this football boot in a few colors two to be specific and i think this one is the best colorway i also think this boot is the best football boot mizuno has ever created the reason is because they've put all of the best aspects of every boot they have um, the the comfort and the performance of the morelia 2 upper plus the performance and the comfort of the Morelia Neo 3 sole plate. I reckon if they did an updated model of this football boot, it would sell out immediately no matter what colorway they went with. It is truly a sensational football boot and I would highly recommend anybody try these out if they have not only the money but the access. I found mine on Instagram, so that is something that um, I would definitely recommend going through. I have not found these anywhere other than there or eBay, and the eBay ones look pretty good. They're just a little bit more expensive than what I found on Instagram. So for me, this is a must pick up if you are a boot enthusiast. This is one of, if not the best football boots that's ever been created, just as not only an amalgamation product, but also as a product that does everything so well with so little compromise. It's actually quite ridiculous how good these are. And so for me, it's gonna get a nine out of 10. It's gonna get top marks for overall rating. This is just a special, special pair of football boots. That is gonna be it for my one month review of the Morelia DNA made in Japan. If you guys have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, leave them down in the comments section below. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like the video if you got value from it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know down in the comments as well what boots you guys want me to review next. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.